Hey look, it's a block, and I'm pushing it. It's a push block. Micro Jig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. The cart itself is just a simple box. You could build it out of plywood if you like, but I'm gonna use three quarter inch pine boards. One thing that's important with children's projects is to make sure all the boards are just sanded over nice and smooth so that there's no sharp edges. I want the two sides to extend beyond the ends about a quarter an inch. To make that a little bit easier to set up, I've cut a quarter inch piece of MDF. I'll use it as a spacer. And I'll secure it with a few nails. I'm gluing these braces on the underside of the cart. Fine tune it with this two inch spacer. Most of the building blocks are the same width, so I'm gonna rip those all at the same time. I think I can save a little bit of time if I ease over all of these sharp edges before I cut the blocks to their lengths. If you have a thin enough blade, you can use your bandsaw to cut out these arched pieces. I'm going to use my scroll saw. This quarter inch thick panel will fit on those braces. For even more variety, I'm making some of the blocks a half inch thick. If you don't have a planer, you can just make more of the three quarter inch blocks. I'm gonna use screws for the wheel axles and they're gonna go right through these two braces. I need to mark where those go really carefully so that they're even. I'm marking a point a half inch up from the bottom and then aligned with the brace. With my drill press set at its slowest speed, I've got a three and a half inch hole saw to cut out the wheels. This quarter inch piece gets glued onto the bottom. Colors! I'm gonna put the wheels on now using these rather large screws. I've got a fender washer that I'll put between the wheel and the cart. Then I'm gonna run this screw through the wheel and screw it in. I want to get it to where it's tight and the wheel won't spin and then just back it off a little. This is about a three foot piece of nylon rope and I'll just tie it in like that. And I'll tie a knot on this side. I should point out also that spray paint is child safe once it's completely dry. I think this is a really good way to help teach kids sorting techniques because I, I think there's a lot of different ways you can sort the blocks inside of this cart. To make it a little bit easier for you, I have included one method for sorting them in the plan. Uh, of course, most kids will probably use this sorting method. Okay, all cleaned up. 
If you'd like to make your own cart and blocks, check down in the description for a free set of plans. And I'd also like to thank Randy Sharp this week. Last week on my Mere Minute show, I asked all of you for Christmas gift building ideas and especially toys, and he sent over his plans for this cart. If you don't know anyone to build one of these for, you might consider making them for sale. The materials are really inexpensive and it would be really simple to just batch them out. That's what Randy does. He makes tons of these things and I think it would have a pretty high profit margin. And since I don't have any toddlers in my life, I'm auctioning off my cart and block set. If you'd like to bid on it, check down in the description for a link to the eBay auction. And remember, 100% of your winning bid goes to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And I've got a quick programming note. I'm taking next week off for the Thanksgiving holiday, so I won't have a regular project video next Friday, but I am going to have a special announcement video on Friday. Friday, and I'm going to have another special announcement video on Wednesday, so you want to keep an eye out for those. If this is your first time here to Woodworking for Mirror Mortals, welcome! I'd love for you to take just a moment to hit that subscribe button so that you won't miss a video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.